Our many patients ask us which lens I should choose for ICL procedures, IPCL or STAR. In this video, we'll dive deep into the details of both lenses, discussing their benefits, potential issues, and which lens might be the better option for you. But before we get into that, let's quickly understand what ICL surgery is. ICL or the implantable collamel lens is a refractive procedure that can correct vision with power as high as minus 30, helping you get rid of your glasses. So we all know about contact lenses, right? So imagine a contact lens that fits inside your eye, never moves, never wears out, doesn't need to be changed, and you don't even feel it. This instantly corrects your eye power without any pain, without any stitches, and with almost instant recovery. Another advantage of ICL is it is reversible. If needed, the lens can be removed and your eyes return to its original state. For ICL, the doctor takes the exact measurement of your eye, length, width and depth and orders a customized lens. Manufacturing and delivering this customized lens takes about 5 to 10 days. Once the lens is received, the doctor makes a small incision in your cornea and inserts this customized lens with the help of injector. Now let's compare the two popular ICL options, STAR and IPCL. First, let's talk about the brand value. STAR EVO ICL is the oldest manufacturer of ICL lenses, which is why it is very popular brand name. On the other hand, IPCL has gained popularity over past 7 to 8 years and is steadily becoming as popular as STAR. The second point of comparison is size availability. Star lenses are available in three sizes, 11.6, 12.6 and 13.2. The size closest to your eyes is selected. IPCL lens are customized according to the eye and are not limited to just three sizes like star. IPCL lenses come in all size ranging from 11 to 14. Due to the customized size, IPCL offers better stability and results. The third point is about the power correction. STAR can correct power up to minus 18, but IPCL can correct power up to minus 30 also. The fourth point is about the incision or cut. To insert STAR ICL into the eye, a small 3mm incision is made. But in comparison, IPCL requires an even smaller 2.2mm incision. The smaller the cut, the quicker the recovery. This is why recovery is faster in case of IPCL and discomfort is also less. The fifth point is a bit technical. It's about the lens placement. In star, toric lens or lenses for cylindrical power need to be placed at exact angle. For example, if the axis of your number is 60 degree, the lens must be placed at 60 degree. If it is 45 degree, it must be placed at 45 degree. This means the lens remains tilted inside the eye, which can compromise stability. If lens rotates slightly in future, vision clarity can be compromised. On the other hand, IPCL lens is placed horizontally for both toric and non-toric paths, and the cylindrical path is designed within the lens itself. So there is no need to tilt the lens, providing excellent stability. Sixth point is the press biopic correction. If you are over 40 and you have near vision glasses, IPCL offers press biopic option that corrects both distance and near vision. However, we don't have any such options in STAR. Seventh is the lens stability. STAR lenses have four point fixation of hooks that attach to the corner of your eye, providing stability and preventing the lens from moving or rotating. On the other hand, IPCL has six fixation points providing even better stability. Next coming to the most important point, halos and glare. In ICL lenses, some holes are provided to maintain the normal flow of fluid and nutrients in the eye. The holes in star are slightly larger and have same size on both sides, causing the light rays to spread out and sometimes leading to halos and glare for the patient. However, if we study the holes in IPCL, they are conical in shape, meaning that the hole is smaller on the top surface and larger on the bottom surface. Due to this shape, the incidence of halos and glare is minimal in IPCL. Ninth is the haptic design. Stability also depends on the haptic design. Let's try to understand this. 
The doctor provides a lens company with the measurements of eye's length, width, wide to wide distance, etc. But sometimes the size of the eye is relatively deep from inside, leading to slight sizing error. Star lenses have solid haptic pads. So if there is a slight sizing issue, the lens stability may be compromised. However, IPCL premium lenses come with haptic pads with a spring effect that allows the lens to fit well in the interior chamber according to the eye's depth. Tenth coming to the cost, the cost of star lenses for one eye is around 75,000. IPCL offers a budget version costing 55,000 per eye and a premium version costing 75,000 per eye. If we talk about the popularity of ICL lens option, among eye mantra patients, approximately 65% of the patients choose IPCL, while 35% prefer star. However, both lenses are excellent and give great results. The choice of the lens depends on your budget, brand preference and the eye number. Eye mantra offers both options. If you also want to undergo an ICL surgery, you can comment to us or call our helpline number to book your free consultation.